Welcome to this new video. The topic is very simple. There is a new feature in the 16.1 for APM dynamic split tunneling for Zoom and Office 365. So what is this new feature? With the traditional SLVPN, you have two options, split tunneling or full tunnel. The full tunnel or the traffic path through the SLVPN tunnel to the gateway and into the internal network. With the split tunneling, you decide which network which subnet will go to the, to the tunnel and which one will bypass the tunnel and will use a local network router. So, so far, the, the settings are only IP addresses or DNS name. So for several use cases like Zoom, Office 365, WebEx, it's difficult to, to define all these IP addresses and DNS name. But those companies provide with an API in order to collect and download uh, these IP addresses and DNS name. So in a 16 .1, Zoom and Office 365 are included, and now you can create a dynamic split tunneling for these two applications. So let's have a look. On a big IP, 16 .1, first of all, what you need, you need, of course, uh, a gateway, okay, and a DNS resolver, okay, you can create a default one, and of course your big IP needs DNS. This is what you need first, okay? Then, if you go to uh, to access and to, to uh, connectivity, now you can see address spaces. This is where we're going to create a dynamic address space. So by default, there is one. There is one that is a wildcard for all the traffic, okay? So by default, all the traffic will go to the network. So now create a new one and let's say I want to bypass Office 365, okay? And as you can see now here, instead of entering a manual value or manual values, now I can use Office 365 feed, okay? This is a name point provided by Microsoft. And I just have to select a trusted CA, okay? Because it's an HTTPS connection and when to download those IP addresses, v4, v6, and DNS names, FQDS. Let's say every day, because every day Microsoft changed change, uh, these, these, these IP addresses. Uh, so let's say, let's go to finish, okay? Okay, so now you can see it's downloading uh, those IP addresses. It takes a few seconds. So as you can see here, I have a list of IPv4, a list of IPv6, and a list of DNS name. Okay, like if we go to login.live.com, this one will bypass the tunnel. So this connection will be directly uh, connected through the local, the home network, if I am home, okay? And this is what I want, okay? I don't want all my users to, to, to pass through the tunnels and consume the compute, the CPU, the RAM of the big IP, and as well, the bandwidth of my data center. So perfect for, for the Office 365. Let's do the same for Zoom. Okay, so bypass Zoom, and Zoom provide as well an endpoint, okay? For WebEx, not yet. So that's why we only have Zoom and Office 365 at the moment, same configuration. Wait a few seconds so that big IP can download uh, from the feed. And then we should have the list of the Zoom as well. Perfect. Okay, as you can see, Zoom is IP address only. Okay, so far so good. So now it's finished. Now it's a traditional configuration for SSL VPN on the big IP. So what I'm gonna do, I would just create a network access. Okay, so create an A bypass split. Then into my network settings, Let's go to the advanced in order to see all the menus. So I need, I have to select my list pool, okay? Traditional configuration. Uh, and then I use split tunneling. So I have the traditional static split tunneling if I want, okay? Or I can use the address spaces. And first of all, I would say, okay, I will say all the traffic path through the tunnel, so all the traffic from all the users has to go into the SSL VPN tunnel, except for big for Zoom and Office 365. Okay, that's it. Finish. 
Very easy. Okay, so now what I have to do, I just go to my policy. Okay, let's say this one. On this policy, I configure my policy, the login page, if I want a login page, summer, whatever, whatever you want. Okay, so here you can see just login page and resource assign. And I have a web tab. So what I have to do is just assign my new network access. And inside this network access, I have my split tunneling configuration with all the traffic through the tunnel except Office 365 and Zoom. Apply and let's make a try. Okay, so. Let's start my edge client. So of course, the first time you connect to the big IP 16 one, the, 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 the client, the big, I, the edge client will be upgraded. Okay. So expect an upgrade of the component and the edge client. So let's turn off first. So this is my VPN gateway. Turn on Bob the sponge. I love mama logon. Okay. As you can see, there is no authentication. Okay, it's just login page, resource assign. So let's wait. So as you can see, this is the latest version of the client on the Mac OS. So, okay, so I'm connected. So from now, if I go to an internal resource like this one, I, I pass through the tunnel. Okay, this is an Nginx web server behind, behind the big IP. But if I go to a, to a resource like this one, this connection path through my home network. Okay. My home internet router gateway. Okay. So we can check that with, uh, if we use a trace, trace route. Okay. So let's do like that. Zoom a little bit. If I do trace route, google.com, you can see the network is 10134. Okay. This is my big IP. But if I try to go to trace route, uh, the login.live.com, you can see it's path it's using my internal gateway. Okay, this is my internal home network in Paris. Okay, 192.168.254. So as you can see, in few clicks, I was uh, I'm able to create a dynamic split tunneling for Zoom and Office 365 with a daily update from the Microsoft and Zoom fits. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.